Thank you for joining us for this Advent Health virtual seminar. We hope you'll find the material presented helpful and informative. Hi, I'm Steve Ratterman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon for Advent Health. I'm here today to talk about knee arthritis and the latest advances. And no talk like this could be complete without talking about the rise of the machines or the use of robotically assisted robots for artificial joint replacement in the knee. Osteoarthritis in the knee basically consists of a wear pattern in your knee where the smooth gliding surface of your knee, as you see it on the right-hand slide where the circles are, is beginning to wear and become rough. As this surface becomes worn and roughened and thinned, it begins to ache and hurt and cause swelling, loss of motion, and progressive pain. Sometimes it can be due to genetics. Sometimes it can be due to disease states such as rheumatoid arthritis where the joint actually attacks itself. However it's caused, the net result is that once you have bone rubbing on bone, your pain increases significantly and your function diminishes rapidly. Uh, the most common causes of knee arthritis include high impact activities, injury from accidents, heredity, as we mentioned, a genetic predisposition. Sometimes certain deformities from trauma can cause an overload situation and obesity also wears into this factor as well. Your treatment options for knee arthritis have in the past included anti-inflammatory medications, weight loss, walking aids such as canes and walkers, physical therapy to reduce the inflammation and stretch, as well as pain medicines and joint fluid therapy. Non-traditional methods such as acupuncture have also been tried. In addition, sometimes you can wash or clean a knee out arthroscopically if there are other factors other than just arthritis involved in the damage of your knee, such as torn cartilages or torn menisci. For advanced arthritis, we have traditionally gone to what we would term a manual knee replacement. A manual knee replacement is done with a series of guides and jigs that are fashioned in surgery to take and remove the arthritic knee surfaces and place a metal on plastic prosthesis. The realignment is based upon the surgeon's skill and judgment and the accuracy of the instrumentation and how it's applied. All the ligaments are kept in place and it relies basically on the surgeon's experience and feel for the optimal result. When you looked at the long-term results of knee replacements done in this manner, the pain relief scores are very, very good. However, some patients continue to have anterior knee pain, and also we see about a 20% drop in the overall pain scores as well as the functional scores when a manual knee replacement is compared to more modern techniques. Hence the rise of the machine. So now we use robot-assisted AI, or artificial intelligence, in surgery to try and optimize the position of the knee to fit your body and uh, accurately uh, fix the damage that the arthritis has caused to you. This allows us to customize the surgery, as I mentioned, and we can also virtually perform the surgery in real time in the middle of the case prior to making cuts so we know how the end result is going to turn out with a much more reliable fashion than old-fashioned jigs. The robotic technology so far has been shown to be more accurate than traditional methods. It provides a customized knee replacement procedure to match your anatomy and your deformity and match your activity level to improve your expectations and recovery after surgery. The Omnibiotic Robot is what we're currently using at Advent Health Wesley Chapel. As you see, it's a TV screen matched to an array, and it picks up a very small array that's placed in pins inside of your knee, and the robot fits inside of the incision. It's not a cumbersome piece of gear outside, and it uses a robotic cutting guide to personalize the knee to your body. So you're put to sleep in the usual manner. The anesthesiologist has done a block. I've also done a block on your knee for post-operative pain control. The screen is brought into the room, and at this time, the arrays are assembled inside of the incision, as I mentioned, and two pins are placed into your tibia or shin bone, and you see these little attachments to it that is read by the robot. At that point, your knee is put through a gentle range of motion to find where your hip center is, and then a variety of marks are made all around the knee and literally painted in a 3D digital fashion so that the robot knows the size and the configuration and the damage that has occurred in your knee before surgery. 
we get a map very similar to this in surgery, and we then check it for accuracy, and then we put your knee through a range of motion. As you see on the lines, it tells us where your knee, knee is tight or where your knee is loose as we go through a range of motion. And then the robot assists us with putting a guide into position onto your tibia, which is pinned into place, and then carefully microscopically adjusted so that it's a very accurate representation of what we're trying to accomplish, rather than just feel or line of sight. This damaged articular surface or your smooth gliding surface is now removed and now you have an area of bone that's present. It's then checked for accuracy to make sure that we've reproduced our plan that the robot has suggested. And now we use a ligament balancer. And so this ligament balance says, what do we have to do to correct your deformity and keep your ligaments in properly intact all throughout the range of motion from deep flexion to mid flexion to full extension so that you have the best return of function and your knee remains nice and stable throughout the range of motion. That's shown by the center plot right there. At this time, this small device is utilized and removed and then the femoral guide is now placed and the usual cuts are made with the robotic arm for accuracy and size and we reproduce each of the cuts that it is suggested. So that as you can see on the right, that predictive ligament balance is what we were trying to achieve, and you see we're right in the middle of the screen with a well-balanced knee throughout the range of motion that we hope will allow you to return to optimal function. Once all the predictive measures are done, the actual robot is inserted over the pins and the usual cuts are made, removing the distal femoral portion of the arthritis, which is checked for accuracy. And then the anterior or the frontal cut underneath your patella is utilized to size it appropriately to your body. And at this time, the posterior or the back cuts are made, which again keeps the ligament in balance throughout the range of motion. The two chamfer cuts are then made so that the prosthetic size is properly fitted to your body. And now trials are inserted, and the trials are now matched up to the robot and once again checked for accuracy to make sure that what we tried to accomplish in surgery has been accomplished with the robot. And then a final check is made with the actual implants in place. In this manner, we feel that we can offer you the optimal balance with minimal releases and a maximal return to function, as well as the expected pain relief that you desire.